Hello! Do you want to reduce stress, improve sleep, and generally better your life? If so, you may want to think about adjusting your morning routine. Hi, I'm Melissa Ebkin, and it's Monday, October 24th. I'm so glad to welcome you again this morning. It is a beautiful day outside here in central Illinois. The weather is crisp yet warm and just overly delightful. The fall colors are in full display and it's just a beautiful, inspiring time of year. And I'm so pleased that I get to speak with you again this week. Let's talk about routines. But before we do that, I would like to introduce myself. If you don't know me, my name is Melissa Ebkin, and I'm the pastor of the Iliopolis and Nyanic Christian Churches in Iliopolis and Nyanic, Illinois. I'm the founder of Light, Life, and Love Ministries, an outreach ministry for those who are spiritual but not religious or who haven't found that church home that fits just right yet. And I'm the host of the Pursuing Uncomfortable podcast. This morning, I did my Monday morning routine to prepare for this, and I want to share with you the benefits of a solid morning routine. Have I always had a solid morning routine? Absolutely not. And I can tell you, it makes a huge difference when I do. So maybe you want to consider this yourself. We probably do naturally have a routine that we do in the morning. Maybe we wake up and reach for our phones and scroll through headlines or Facebook or mail or whatnot. Whatever we do generally repetitively each morning is a routine. But if we're intentional about setting up a routine that works for us, it can make huge differences in our lives. When we have kids, one of the things we try to do in the first days is to establish a routine for them. Whether we like it or not, we do thrive on routines generally. So the trouble is creating a routine and then getting it established can be kind of boring or it can be tedious or challenging. So I wanna offer you a few recommendations this morning on how to get a routine that is helpful for you. First, don't overplan and don't underplan. If you overplan a routine, it's gonna to be too much work you're not gonna stick with it. Within a week, it'll probably fall by the wayside. Similarly, if you underplan, it's not gonna seem very effectual for you and you'll probably stop doing it. So how do you hit the sweet spot? I recommend setting one goal, one simple goal in three different areas. Set a goal for physical health. Maybe it's drinking a glass of water when you wake up. Maybe it's stretching for 10 minutes. Maybe it's taking a, a short walk, but set one physical goal that's doable in a short amount of time. Let's just stick with the uh, drinking a glass of water for now, for the sake of our discussion. The second area is a spiritual goal. Whether you're religious or not, it is important to connect to that transcendent power. And however you want to do that, set a spiritual goal. It can be 10 minutes of prayer or meditation, 10 minutes of journaling, or just a few minutes of gratitude. Think through three things you are grateful for of a morning. So pick one spiritual goal and you know what's best for you. I would recommend something that takes less than 10 minutes as we're beginning this new practice. So let's say our physical goal is drinking a glass of water. How about our spiritual goal for the sake of conversation here is to write down three things we are grateful for on that more each morning. And then a time management goal. This is really going to be helpful throughout your day. Think about the things that you want to do that day or that you need to take care of. Do you need to run errands? Do you need to meal prep? Do you need to, um, whatever it is you need to do, whether at work or at home, write down those things. Take less than 10 minutes to do that. And then put all this together. Or, you know, there could be other time management routines. Maybe you want to get more, more intentional about using your calendar. So you're going to take a few minutes to look through your calendar and see what you have scheduled and write in any events that haven't been scheduled yet that need to be. 
whatever it is for your time management goal. So for the sake of conversation, I'm gonna say making a task list. So we have three things. We have uh, drinking a glass of water, writing down three statements of gratitude, and making a list of what we're gonna do that day. So again, those are a goal for physical health, for spirituality, spiritual health, and time management. One goal, one small goal in each of these areas can make a huge difference in your life. So how can this be? Well, setting a routine helps us to set ourselves up for a good day. And when we have a good day, we feel good about ourselves. When we feel empowered about ourselves, that spills over into other areas of our lives. And if we are taking a physical goal of drinking water or whatever it is that you set for yourself, that's going to impact your physical health. Whatever goal you set for your spiritual health, that's going to impact your spiritual health. And whatever goal you set for time management, that's going to help you navigate your day. These things are going to help you to have a better day, a more fulfilling day, and you're going to feel great about yourself. It creates structure in our lives. One of the biggest things structure can do is keep us on track for the things that we need to do. It's going to help to combat bad habits. As you get established in your routines, you can look at those behaviors and habits that you have that you want to change or adapt. And you can work in little steps in your morning routine to help you combat those. It'll give your health a boost. I mean, my goodness, in less than a minute, having a glass of water, okay, maybe two minutes, we're making a big difference in our physical health and taking a time to have that short gratitude list or our spiritual goal, that also has physical health benefits as well as spiritual. So we're getting healthier. And guess what? Anxiety and stress will lessen. When you have a healthy morning routine that has one goal toward physical health, a goal toward spiritual health, and a goal toward time management, you're going to reduce stress and anxiety in your life. Not all of it, probably, but it's going to make a difference. And it's going to set you up well for the day. And that could make a big difference. And mostly, you're going to get the most out of your day. You're not going to be scattered. You're going to have direction. You're going to have more purpose with just a simple morning routine. And let's look at the one we talked about. Drinking a glass of water writing down three things we're grateful for, and making a list of things we need to do that day. That is less than 10 minutes. Less than 10 minutes. Doing those three things in less than 10 minutes every morning can help bring so many benefits into your lives. If you have a morning routine, let me know. Put a check mark in the comments or send me a, a message in direct messages through Messenger. Let me know what you think about routines. Love them, hate them, would like to do them better, but have never gotten around to do it, let me know. And I would love to know the difference they make for you. My name is Melissa Ebkin. I want you to have the most spiritually robust, emotionally healthy life that you can. Enjoy every bit of it, this gift that we have, where we draw air into our lungs and walk upon this earth. It is a profound experience, and I want you to have the best experience. If I can help you in any way, let me know. I'll see you next week. Bye for now.